Hey there, internet enthusiasts. Big news in the world of net neutrality. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, has just voted 3-2 to two to reinstate net neutrality. What does this mean for all of us internet users? Well, let's dive into it and find out. The new rules, called Safeguarding and Securing the Open Internet, bring back the FCC's authority over internet service providers. They classify broadband internet access as a common carrier service under Title II of the Communications Act of 1996. This move is seen as necessary to ensure that the internet remains fast, open, and fair. You might be wondering, what is net neutrality exactly? Net neutrality is the policy that requires service providers to treat all content on the internet equally. It prevents them from blocking, slowing down, or charging money for faster service on specific websites. It ensures that everyone has equal access to the vast world of the internet. Commissioner Jessica Rosenworcel, a strong advocate for net neutrality, stated that broadband is now an essential service for Americans. She emphasized that the FCC will prevent service providers from blocking, throttling, and engaging in paid prioritization of certain content online. This means that all websites and online services will have an equal chance to reach their audience without any discrimination. However, not everyone is thrilled about this reinstatement of net neutrality. That FCC's two Republican commissioners, Nathan Symington and Brennan Kerr, opposed the new rules. They argued that repealing net neutrality in 2017 did not result in consumers paying more. As many supporters of net neutrality predicted, they believe that this move gives the FCC too much power and may lead to excessive regulation that could harm consumers. A group of congressional Republicans, including Rep. Kathy McMorris-Rogers and Senator Ted Cruz, also oppose the new rules. They view it as an illegal power grab and argue that Congress is the only body with the authority to regulate broadband. They believe that the FCC's new authority could result in rate regulation, tariffing requirements, and other policies that could stifle investment and innovation. But fear not, internet lovers. Commissioner Rosenworcel has assured that the FCC will not use its new authority to enforce more regulation or hinder competition. The focus is on maintaining a level playing field and ensuring that everyone can enjoy the internet without any unfair advantages or limitations. So there you have it folks, net neutrality is back, and the FCC has taken a stand to maintain a fast, open, and fair internet for all. With these new rules, service providers will be prohibited from blocking, throttling, or prioritizing certain content. It's a win for internet users who believe in equal access and a level playing field. However, this decision is not without its critics. Opponents worry about excessive regulation and the potential impact on investment and innovation. Only time will tell how these new rules will play out and whether they will face legal challenges. In the meantime, let's celebrate this victory for net neutrality and continue to enjoy the wonders of the internet without any restrictions. Stay connected, stay informed, and remember to always support a free and open internet for everyone. Happy browsing!